Hello, I'm Brian Tooley. I'm here today to talk to you about LSA or lobe separation angle. There's a lot of discussion about lobe separation and angle when it comes to camshafts. There's a lot of focus on lobe separation angle when it comes to camshaft, but that's the wrong number to focus on. The numbers to focus on is the open and close points. Now, LSA is computed by adding the intake center line to the exhaust center line, dividing by two, and that gives you the lobe separation angle. Like on our stage four LS3 cam, the intake center line is 108, the exhaust center line is 118, you add the two together, divide by two, it gives you the 113 LSA. Now guys say 113 is an EFI, lobe separation angle, but if you want to run carbureted, you got to be down here at this 110, 111 uh, lobe separation angle. Well, you can't take this cam and just grind it on a 110, 111 lobe separation because first off, your valves are gonna hit your pistons, which is not good. Um, but the other thing uh, that we need to talk about is in these four examples where I've reduced the exhaust duration in four degree in increments, you can see we've left the overlap events the same. We've left the intake valve closed the same. The only thing we've changed exhaust valve open event and we've changed this lobe separation angle from 113 all the way down to 110. However, if you test these four camshafts back to back on the dyno like we have, you'll find that as you add this exhaust valve open point to the camshaft, the engine makes more power from 3500 on up. So it's very important to not design a cam based on LSA. It's important to design a cam based on what the engine tells you it likes. So lobe separation angle is a derivative of getting the open and close points where they need to be. The other thing about LSA is we do not allow you to randomly change LSA because we don't want camshafts out there with improper valve events. So my bit of advice today is don't focus on LSA.